Okay. So I have I found um, five different OER resources. And so I'm going to just kind of work through them. And you know, any where you see if you have any questions or you want me to search for something specific, I can do that. Um, but this one is open access and it's um, pub, the publishing and European, European network. So if I come here to home, that's why you see the languages. Um, you see it's not, you know, the first one is not just English, but you can come over to language okay. and choose English. And then you can browse by language. So of items here that are in English, they have 12,000 items. So if you're looking for something on religion in general, mm -hmm. takes a minute. So here, dun, 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 did that say 86? Yeah. So here is showing 8672 to 8692. So that's about 20 items. So here um, you have religion and the aesthetic conflict. Mm -hmm conflict attribution so you now, can tell the are, are, these, are these books yes like e books so i can yeah. assign i can assign these books to a class yes you can download them so if i come here i can just click pdf mm -hmm. and there oh Something has to be in English. Yeah, it's translated. <laughs> the first page kind of scared me. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so it's in English and they can see the entire book here or they can down click download and you can download it. Okay. And then you can take your download and upload it to your core, your canvas right. or your Merlot. Okay. Or, mm -hmm. Now you have, and this is kind of, so let's say you only want it, and I, I hope I'm, I'm going to test this too. So in theory, mm -hmm. um, you should have the Acrobat, uh, Adobe Acrobat on your computer in your office or somewhere on campus. Right. So if I open, wait a minute, if I open it, and make sure I download this book, save, but you may not want them to open. You may not want them to read the entire book. You may want them to only read a chapter. Okay. So I can go into here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? I did something. Okay. And I can, I don't know, show me the, well, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, page, chapter, whatever, part two. Let's say you only want them to read pages 107 to one, looks like 72. You can go in and organize pages. So now you can um, extract only the pages you want them to see. So they don't get the full document. Okay. So you just highlight, I don't know. So maybe you want the first page, first few pages, 
What's this? Okay. Uh oh, it's working, doing something. And however many pages, I don't know. I'm just kind of, and then you would hit extract. And then it'll say delete pages after extracting, extract pages as a separate file. So I'm going to say extract as a separate file. Uh, and we're just going to house it here in the download folder. And so now it's extracting. And if I go back to downloads, it has extracted all those pages separately. That's not quite what I wanted, but you can see how it, it took it out okay. um, for you. And then this may be a little too cumbersome. Um, you can go back to open documents, download, and select the documents that you extracted, and then you can combine them into one document. So hey, okay. I think there has I think there has to be another way to do that. That's easier though. Um, there's a there has to be a way to extract those files and save them combined as a document. Okay. But you but you can do that once you download it as a pdf you can open it in acrobat um adobe acrobat and just you know take out the pages you want them to read if you don't want to give them the whole book because you know right. they may see the okay. whole book and go you know yeah that's you know. good okay and that's open access yes yes this Is open, open access dot com oh no it's um where did we go it is open, it's O-A-P-E-N, O-A-P-E-N. Mm -hmm. And I will put a list, I will, I will put all the links in the email. So okay. I'll, you'll get this in an email. Okay. You'll get the recording and the links. Okay, good. Yeah, so you don't have to try to, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, and so I think the, um, there's different rules about, copyright for every country. And so this is the European version of open access. So, you know, just in case you can't find something here on some of the American um, sites or mm -hmm. OER websites, you may want to try this one because, okay. you know, they have quite a bit. They got religion in the body, okay. um, religion and nationalism and Chinese societies. We can look through the religion and the making of Nigeria, religion and state, religion in China, migration, identity, architecture, transformations. So uh, if I was interested in philosophy uh -huh. uh, as a topic, I would just type in philosophy and I would browse. Uh -huh. And if you spoke another language, you can select that language as well. You don't have to, you know, if you, right. if English, if you speak English and Spanish and French, you can check those three. Okay. Or if your students. So I'll be able to, to take ex excerpts, ex extract excerpts uh -huh. from different Or you books. can download the whole book and just tell them what pages to read. Well, uh, okay. But yeah. All right. Yeah, or right, or you or I can show you again how to do the acrobat once you choose your book and yeah. you want to extract something. I can just do that, show you how to do that separately. Okay. Yeah. This isn't um for less philosophy of globalization. That's 2018. Philosophy in a meaningless life. Mm. Philosophy for militants. Hmm. Then it kind of goes Phoenix from the Ashes, photography, mm -mm. photosynthesis. <laughs> it yeah, changes really quickly. Philosophy. 
Yeah. So this the these are the three items they have for philosophy. philosophy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, okay. Yeah. I can see just browsing through that. What about idealism? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let it go. It's searching. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh. <sick. laughs> right. Right. it's just twirling. Um, not quite. I think the only okay leadership. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, mm. you say that there's a version of this uh, in the United States. Mm, well, for um, for you, for the America, that we have all the others that we've kind of looked at, like Merlot. Right. Have, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it was just yeah. Those are just founded and are based in America. This one is based in Europe. So, um, okay. but you know, it doesn't mean you know we could just keep looking <laughs> in another place. Right. But uh, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to get at is um, if I find material. Anyway, I still would be able to compile it in a booklet form. Oh, to Merlot. Definitely. Yep. Yes. Def if it's um open access, yes. Okay. And you can either use just the links or, you know, you can download it and upload it to Merlot. It's probably best to download it just in case some of the sites change or, right. you know. But Okay. But now this session is not uh, to show to show how to compile it in a book form on our Merlot account. Not, no, but the okay. workshop will will include that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are just quick minutes I put to, you know, thought it would be to show people, because um, all of you are in so many different um, disciplines, just a right. way to show you like, some of the many OERs that are out there, just a, a quick minute. Although oh. it ends up taking like 30, 45 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Even when I do it by myself, it usually yeah. takes like 30, 45 minutes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's um this particular website. And then the other one is um open book publishers. Okay. And here you can browse by categories. So they have philosophy here. So if I clicked it, they have 20 items. Okay. And hmm, the atheist Bible. I mean, so if you see one, you want to basic knowledge and conditions on knowledge. Foundations for Moral Relativism. That's in a different. So if I see one, what now? Any, any, any. Any. Yeah. Tolerance, let's, Adam. Let's just see the process. I'll come back and look at the okay. current. I'll try this one. And so some of these are. At a price. Right, not necessarily free. Some are and some are not. Okay. I think this was the one where it was like a mixture mm -hmm. of free items um, and some for pay. Mm -hmm. But usually when there's a way for you to search, Let's go back to the home page. Currency. They usually give you. Oh, okay. This is open. So when I search there, I get. Hmm, I don't know what that is. So I get find this one. Yeah, and there's a fee. Read the PDF. And so the PDF appears. But if you want it 
the hard copy of the book you would have to pay okay but if you just click on read the pdf you know you can see that students will be able to read the okay they will still have access to the book without paying for it okay and you can download it right here it says pdf is free to download hey, yeah yeah i got you got you because okay. <laughs> some of these um you know all of these have so different um interfaces that it uh -huh. takes me like a couple minutes to kind of just get my head together like okay so what does this page um so here they have anthropology archaeology and religion um here that was philosophy um, I know you said idealism. I don't know if that's so here it says something about materialism. So this is part three of this particular book. And the material world from imaginism to new criticism and intertextual. Mm -hmm. So the it pulled this idealism here. Okay. Now, whether or not the rest of this is about or about, have anything. <laughs> so, but you can search the book over here. It says search this book. And so I the word idealism appears in chapters three and chapter six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it appears once in this chapter. So the, I don't know, you know, mm -hmm. but this would, so students, you can give them the link or you can download it and then upload it. Um, but it gives you the book to share with students. Mm -hmm. I was trying to, I'm um, trying to think who else is in this. Um, I know we have some people with digital the humanities, there's law, science, history, environmental studies, economic sociology, science. What's been kind of hard is criminology. Some it's like hit or miss uh, with um, criminology, criminal justice. Oh, vigilant from defender to offender. Yeah, they may have to just kind of do a little more um, deep diving into to some of these fields. But religion and philosophy and, you know, sociology, humanities, uh, economics, um, you know, even literature, math mm -hmm. and science, you know, they seem to appear across all of the OERs I've looked at so far. But mm -hmm. Some of like the um, aging studies, uh, mental health counseling, some of that uh, you really kind of have to see if there's a chapter in a book about it, because um, sometimes it's, you just can't find it. And then this is the, another site, um, OpenStax. And during the pandemic, OpenStax kind of opened um, up. And I may have talked about this last week because it has a number of different um, URLs to get to it. Because this oh. looks really familiar to me. I think I did this one last week. I think it just had a different URL. Okay. Yeah, but so these are free books as well. So you would um, kind of scroll or, because it's in alphabetical order. So okay. you would kind of go down to, they have college success which one um, of the faculty members from, I think Kentucky, he's a college success coach. Uh -huh. um, so there's sociology, intro, intro, intro. Uh, there's stacks, um, counting, economics. There's a way to search as well, you don't have to. There's psychology. History, 
And then, yeah, I did this last week because I remember saying that you can get together with a community. So if you just click search, mm -hmm. you can then just click. Yep, because my um, keywords are still, my search words are still here. So here are some books and you can do um, filter by publication. So if you wanted something more recent, like this year, mm. you can click there and they have a, 171 mm -hmm. publications that fall under some kind of way, fall under religion. So religion may not be in the title, of course, but right. somewhere in there, maybe it's something tough. about it. Because mm -hmm, that doesn't seem to have anything to do with it. Um, books, you can get case studies, subject, hmm. it says text, religion, so it must mean that text, that religion is mentioned, that doesn't mean it's a religious book. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Humanities, maybe. Yeah, so learning about religion. Catholic mission, Spanish colonialism. Maybe do an advanced search. Subject, humanities. Type, you can do books. Oh, what did I do? English. Oh, you're still here on my side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, huh. Let's try. Okay, I hadn't seen that in a while. Capitalism versus socialism. Oh, to the, for an institute of humane studies. Uh, mm. <laughs> Political philosophy. Philosophy of liberty. Hmm. Now we can put, let me see, I'm gonna go back to religion in the title. Goodness, I don't know. So here are a couple of books, a commentary on the reality of religion. And then these are pages, religion in the United States. So if we open that, it's just um, pages out of something. Mm. Uh, they have a quiz, short answer, references. So it looks like maybe a brief study guide or a brief intro that they gave. Um, it's a summary of something that they submitted here. Yeah. Religion and um, the unconscious, comparing the world's main religions. Yeah, because, and you can change the grade too. So, opens, you know, anybody and everybody can contribute. And so, you know, that was fourth grade. That's something you would not want to, you know, include. So, you can, you know, just not, you know, choose it. <laughs> But they're supposed to include what they believe will be the grade level. So this page is in five different books. It's in the introduction to sociology, but all of these are in sociology texts. So it found the page from the book. So let's go back to... <coughs> mm -hmm. So this is the... Okay, this is commentary on the reality of religion. So it's from that book. Mm. 
Where is that other one? Mm -mm -mm. But you get that. So that's OpenStax. Okay. And then, yep, see, I'm at 4.30. Trying to, <laughs> I just kept saying, I probably should have just done one. But then I was like, by the time they turn that video on and watch it, it'll be over. So I was like, oh, uh, let's do let's do more than the one. But five yeah. is, four is probably a bit much. But this is um Cubes. Okay. And it has uh, faculty mentoring. So this may not be for everyone, but it seems to lean toward like the sciences, um, the bio, um, the biology field. Mm. So they have software. Mm. Some is free software. Um, I know Jupiter, people use that for like coding and looking for they use it in digital humanities, but it's a place probably for the sciences and yeah, science I'll, majors. I'll yeah, I was about to say if you unless your students are doing something, um, and and there are project religion projects where students are doing like digital humanities. You mm -hmm. know, and they may use this, but usually, you know, you would be the one to, to teach them <laughs> or. They will have a class or something. I don't know. Um, but they have some community driven collections. And then they have the open education resources. Mm -hmm. And they are basically, basically this, they like to share open software. But they have some materials here. This page will work with me. It's coming. Let's try. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh, this looks really sciencey. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just type in. If I can get this G. Nah, yeah, okay. this seems to be geared towards science. Yeah, the um, science. And it does say BioQuest, so it's probably yeah. geared toward science, the biologies, but you know, um, yeah. So then there's the UNESCO um, Digital Library. And so again, this probably is for, probably maybe not for uh, religion per se, but they have um, collections that if students are doing a report and they need to look at, or they wanna recall a, a speech that was given or um, statistics, mm -hmm. um, there are a number of collections here. So if they click on the open access resources, or if you click there, mm -hmm. you'll see some of what they have to offer. So like okay. challenges and opportunities for women entrepreneurs in Africa. Because sometimes when students come to us and they're looking for these kind of up-to-date, um, this kind of information in our catalog, you know, we may not have anything that specific. But okay. here, uh, when because they do, of course, a lot of research about um, women, uh -huh. entrepreneurship, um, art, um, the youth, literacy, healthcare across mm -hmm. the globe. And so, you know, that may, if they can't find it, this would be a good place to also start. They have interviews. Um, you know, you can see what all they have, yearbooks. Okay. Um, they have statistical work, historical works, legal matters, forms, questionnaires, dictionaries. Um and so you can search for, let's see if, just in case there's something. So here for religion, it says 19,000 results. Um, <clears throat> so here's like environmentalism as religion, 
the contribution by religions to the culture of peace. And this is a seminar. This was at a conference. Um, this was a this is a book. So you can come over and choose which one. Uh oh, don't exclude. <laughs> we want to. Oh, I don't like how they do that. So you would click here to exclude as opposed to include. Okay. okay. Um, but if you're looking for a particular, like an article, uh -huh. a book, so here's a book, but I have to go through all this to get rid of everything else. And then I've gotten rid of English, so I don't know. Got to figure out how to get English back. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my search results? Let's just go to. Oh, Let's go back to home. Yeah, let me try this again. <laughs> so I got rid of what I wanted. That was not a good idea. So we're going to do religion. English, maybe. So here's a uh, religion and politics today. It's from ninety four. So it's a journal, but it's online. Okay. So here it tells you it's online. And if you just wanted a book, oh my goodness. I don't know why they just don't let you choose the book. Maybe they would if I, I'm scared to click it. Let's start up and start over. So now we're down to just the books. Cultural aspects and Christian is Christian and Islamic religion. So if I click here, I can see the full text here. And it's also available in these other languages. And I can share the link, which means I can get the link. I can print and I can download the book here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this is, you know, if you're looking for something on a more global uh -huh. level. Yeah. And like I said, I'll send you a list of these um, sources okay, in an good. email so that yeah, you don't yeah. have to kind of remember <laughs> yeah, yeah. where we and went. I, and I can browse through them. Yes. Okay. That's very 